So Suzy Lou made a response video, and it's pretty much full of lies and a bunch of blatant bullshit, and I, I just want to go ahead and kind of cover it. This is the last time I plan on talking about this situation, which was kind of what the last video I did about this was supposed to be, but I don't think anyone really expected her to come out and formally respond to the whole thing, so yeah, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. No need to make this longer than it already probably will be. You know, I hate doing videos like this because I end up just like going off on a tangent. I don't tend to write down what I want to say I just like to have it come from the heart. That'll come back to bite you in this video I'm pretty sure. Then suddenly people just use that as an excuse to cancel Susie Lou. I get it. We're indoors. It's boring. I get it. Like I have been going out of my mind as well with absolute boredom. Okay no this wasn't an excuse quote unquote to cancel Susie Lou. This was just another example of you mass reporting content that you disagree with in the hopes that YouTube will censor criticism for you, which is just one of many reasons why people even criticize you in the first place. So for someone who watches all these videos and flags them, I mean, you really lack any understanding about what anyone's saying. It all kind of blew up again. People were unhappy with the style of content I was doing. Yeah, because you haven't been flagging critical content down for well over a year. Get real. Which, in my opinion, okay. Like, that's fine. It's none of your business, like, the kind of content that I put out. It doesn't have to be someone's business once you publicly do something on the internet. I mean, you're a public figure at this point with the amount of subscribers that you have. What you do is eligible to be criticized and lambasted regardless. I don't go out of my way again to be like, oh, this is an outrage. I can't believe what they are doing. Like, do you know what? Make the content that you want to make, and if I don't want to watch it, then that's up to me. Yeah? So then why do you have to false flag videos that you don't like? If it was nearly as simple as what you're trying to put out here, I mean, you wouldn't even be in the shit that you're in. A couple of months ago, a creator who, I'm not gonna name who they are, basically they were getting harassed by Tipster off YouTube. It was happening on Twitter. And they threatened her and it really, really upset her. And she complained to YouTube and YouTube came to me because they were like, listen, we have had numerous complaints about this channel. This is Tipster's channel. And we want your side of all the things, all the times you have had to deal with this person. So I told them. Wait. Okay, so you're telling me that out of the blue, YouTube came to you to meddle in the affairs of two other people. First off, remember how you were just telling people that they should mind their business and now here you are, of course, being the judge for YouTube. And second, YouTube came to you about a situation that didn't involve you. Keep in mind, this is an event apparently between Tipster and some random other person. To let you have input on it because apparently you dealt with a similar situation? That sounds like a pretty thick pile of bullshit there, Susie. So why in God's name would YouTube care about your opinion on that situation? Unless, well, yeah, perhaps you have someone at YouTube who you're in cahoots with, which you adamantly deny, and then turn around and tell all of these goofy stories of YouTube violating safe harbor agreements for copyright, and then apparently breaching a private matter between two Two users to get another person's input. Susie, it's so great that you tell us all this shit because it, it just proves our point more and more. Or even better, it would just be another lie that you're making to cover up for yourself. It, it's one or the other, so you go ahead and tell us which one it is. And I, I even said at the time, I was like, see if they've taken videos that just have my name attached to them, like, I'm gonna be pissed. So you were so pissed about how that looks to you, right? And how that makes you look so bad, but you won't show your flagging history as of right now. You wouldn't definitively prove that you aren't behind this stuff that makes you look bad by your own definition, even though it's as easy as just showing the evidence. And if that is the case, why did you tweet these words? You didn't want to be scapegoated for that behavior, but here we are admitting that we reported Tipster's channel and refusing to definitively prove that we weren't behind it. So let me make this very clear. There's two channels I'm going to talk about here, Tipster and John Swan, because that is the two channels where videos were taken down by YouTube. YouTube. Let me just get that into your head. YouTube. Okay, you heard it here. But you did flag those videos? It's a really simple question to answer, and I have yet to see you actually answer it without some sort of runaround about how YouTube is the one who takes it down, or... 
Other people flagged those videos. I didn't, but I won't show that I didn't do it. Yeah, you keep bringing up the fact that YouTube apparently did this, and I mean, you realize that it damages your reputation when they do this. If you didn't do it, just simply prove it by showing your entire flag history from top to bottom. So to all you people that think I have so much power, I don't. I literally don't. Okay, if you don't have this power, then can you please explain to me how you apparently, at least, this isn't even being made up, this is coming from your videos, your words from your mouth. How you apparently got employees of YouTube to violate Safe Harbor, essentially risking their protection from DMCA violations as a platform, for you by coming back into the office on a holiday? Can you explain how apparently YouTube valued your opinion so much that they brought you in to help with an investigation against another creator for a situation that didn't even involve you directly? I mean, their issue wasn't your issue. Yeah, you claim you had a similar issue, but it's not the same one in and of itself. I mean, I've never seen YouTube come to me talking about, well, this other creator was being harassed. And, uh, the user who did it has done it to you, too. You're willing to give us a couple words? You're willing to give the newspaper here a quote? If you don't have this power, why do you keep making reference to you doing all of this shit? It's not like people are just blatantly making things up against you. It's not like people are just magically pulling these ones out of their ass and, you know, there's no evidence behind it. You're the one saying this. At this point, we're taking literally clips of what you're saying, quotes, and responding to them. So... I don't understand why we're trying to pretend like this is something that, like, no one has evidence for. So fine. Blame me for everything, even though you have zero proof of anything that people are accusing me of doing. For those of you who don't know, there's literally a whole Discord server dedicated to open information about what Susie Lou has been accused of for anybody to access. The link is in the pinned comment if you guys are interested in seeing it, and I guess going through the entire treasure trove of information that people have been talking about. I mean, it contains screenshots, videos, quotes, plenty more that prove what people are saying about her. It's not like I just got on video one day and was like, well, there's nothing that I can use to prove this, so let me say something. Because YouTube, who you have no influence with apparently, decided that it all went too far, which, whatever. But you don't get to decide if something is a joke or not. People can send their audience over to me all they want to be like, you shouldn't ever report any videos. Oh, okay, so we'll just see like dodgy, dodgy videos on YouTube. But you know what? you know, bless the person that uploaded it. I know I can see up that child skirt, but I won't report that. I won't use a feature that's on the website. No. Are you really trying to fucking compare videos that criticize you and make passing remarks about your forehead to scenes in which children are being exploited? Folks, I think with a statement like that, you can clearly see the mental state she's in. It, it's just such a victim mentality here. To the point where now children who are being exploited by accidental exposure on the internet is now comparable to criticizing videos. Why would you ever even make that mark, you know? Why would you ever mark that one down in the, in the sketchbook there as an idea to spit out in your video? It would have never have helped your point. And no one ever said that the report feature can't be used properly. If you can find one remark in any video where they say that you can't use the report feature in a helping manner, you can't actually use it the correct way, that was never said. Everyone is saying that you're just abusing the feature for your own personal gain, which you've essentially admitted to several times. That's not the same thing. And it, it just, it blows my mind. Like, these people are so manipulative. It is crazy to me. It is so crazy. And like... Yeah, it says the person who has riddled their video full of lies with zero evidence to back it up in order to make her subscribers feel weary about unsubbing from her channel. Like, obviously, people flagged that video to my attention and they had already reported it. So... Who's to say that my report done absolutely anything? Okay, so you did report the videos along with your fans. Case closed. Thanks for admission on that one. You could have just said this from the beginning and it would have been a lot better for you, honestly. You wouldn't have had to make up any lies or anything, so. Find some evidence. Find a screenshot of where I have struck someone down other than the person I mentioned at the start of this video. I mean, show your flagging history. We, we all know that flagging for guideline strikes and copyright claiming a video aren't the same thing. We were well aware of that, right? S most of us do this for a living. So you, th you think we don't understand this? I mean, you already got schooled on fucking copyright law by me and John Swan. So I, I don't understand what point you're trying to make here. We already know what this is. I expect many, many response videos to this, but at the end of the day, I am the only person that has the ins and outs of everything that happened. Absolutely no commentary channel has reached out to me to try and get any information to actually make a video with facts. 
everybody is literally trying their hardest to do videos on me just now, spin it to whatever the hell they want it to be. You know all the ins and outs of all this, right? You, you, you just, you got it down on such a magnificent level to where you just see every little minute detail, right? But you won't show a damn bit of evidence that clears you in this situation. Like, it's incredible. You, you know everything about this. You, you got everything backing you up here, but you don't see anything worth a shit as proof here except for some of Tipster's words taken out of context and clips of them joking around on a podcast. Th that's your evidence there. No updated flagging history to show us what you're really doing and to just kind of prove that you weren't the one who did it. No evidence that contradicts the literal stockpile against you. Nothing, man. It sure, is like, it sure sounds like you know all of the ins and outs here, Susie. So that was, uh, that was basically me just, I guess, clearing this whole thing up. Unless something magnificent happens in this, I'm not making another video about it, so. You can rest assured on that one if you're tired of the situation. Personally, I am too. But she's lying at this point, and it's not really tolerable to just kind of let that one go. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at SubdaOptimus. I post memes, thoughts, updates over there. Surefire way to get notifications. Make sure to check out ShopOpti down below. Also is OpTube. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus clearing this one up and signing out.